We have an absolutely beautiful morning for some water detecting. Although our tides are a little off, I'm not gonna be able to hit the lowest part of the tide, but the water's calm. And hopefully with the storms we've had, some beach and bottom has been roughed up to bring out some new targets. Like that watermelon right there. Well, I only pulled up a valve, but this particular area with my first scoop, which I missed this thing, I had three more targets in it. Two pieces of lead and a big piece of melted brass. So I have a collection area that I'm gonna spend a little time in and I have a school of bayfish swimming by me right now. Can you see them flashing? They might have liked the fact that it just stirred up the ground. There's a little school of bayfish. I hope there's no bluefish following them. Well, I might like what I'm seeing here. If it's an old lead, it is. An old lead car, look at that thing. How cool is that? All right, that's gonna date back. We got our first kind of dated piece today. I love this thing. I wouldn't stay anywhere near him either. Nice big old brass spoon cast master. Acme tackle. This thing's been out here a while. I just picked up an old key. I think it's old. We'll have to check it out. Plenty of stuff on there to research, but it's big. Baldwin. Can't make a date out of it. Well, targets have been very few. And mostly weights. But I did manage to pull up a nice sounding this flat button. A little bit of the shank left on there. A little design on it. Uh, it's definitely old. Maddie's right next to me. He had a flat button before, too. Well, happy Father's Day. Maybe that'll start things off. Well, I'm definitely in a different section. I got out a little deeper. There's really no stones. It's all black dirt, but I'm picking up older targets. It's about my fourth bullet. And I did get a little beat up wheat penny just a second ago.
an interesting section they kind of plowed out over here. I've seen a few things pop up. I wasn't planning on doing any digging. I was just taking a walk. But something drew me to this area. That might have been something right here. I like how thick that glass is. Too bad I didn't have a top. There's a couple other pieces here. I'm gonna maybe something coming up right there. I got another full bottle that just popped out here. Nice and black. Again, I'm not really sure how old it is. I don't see any bossing on it. It's a good area. Totally sold on it yet. Bring a wine bottle. No embossing. I might take that home. There's something here. Looks tiny enough. My 60s or 70s. Wish it was a little older. Appears to be another one, just based on where this thing is planted, closer to the water. I'm hopeful, but uh, the top is broken off. Yeah, it doesn't look that old. This one's a little bit older. I don't mind finding one of these intact, old medicine. Always hoping for some embossing on it, but I don't think, I don't think this one's coming with anything. And it still has the cap on it, so it wasn't a twist off. Yeah, just a little bit older. It is a twist off. I mean. Well, I am getting way more action today than I've had here in a while since they moved some of this dirt around. And this bottle, although again, it's not super old, it's a little more intriguing based on the shape. Mm. What are you, an old mustard? Yeah. All right, that's a little better. I think I just got my token Bromo Seltzer. Cobalt Blue, yep. Emerson. I'll bring that back. Now that I'm heading back, I get a different angle. Sometimes I pick up some bottles I didn't see on the way down. The sun hits it a little differently. My eyes pick it up a little bit differently. So many broken ones. Well, it's the 4th of July, Independence Day, and I got about 50 people coming over my house in about two hours. I worked all morning. I'm taking a half hour break. I'll do some searching at low tide. Just happen to be. This is always a good sign when you see the stuff brewing up in here. Copper, copper. A fish hook. Hmm. Interesting. Now there's no question when I'm short on time, guarantee it's going to be a day I wish I had more time. But I'm going to go in go mode and rapid fire my search. Well, I did find a dump line, but it seems to be right now. There's nothing but smash bullets and tons of brass hardware and screws. Now that the size I want, they're the weight I want to 
maybe possibly find a few old coins sitting here. But I'll search a little bit more, toss over a few rocks, see if anything got pushed underneath, size some more bolts. Who's, uh -oh. What? Look at the clouds right there. Stormish? Stormish. Who's the, um, who's the coolest guy you know? Um. Shark Tooth Hans. Treasure Hans. And a brown belt Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Lately. I don't know. No idea. <laughs> Numero uno. Mm -hmm. Now, since we are heading to the shark tooth capital of the world to find shark teeth that are about a quarter of an inch. Um, I thought I wanted to instruct you and teach you on the origins of the fanny pack. See what I got right here? Yep. Do you see it? You're fannied up. My fanny pack. Do you know in like 1987 the fanny pack became very popular and you're like the coolest guy around if you walk around with a fanny pack? Did it? All the meatheads wore it, like all the big weightlifters, and they would hold like their creatine and their protein powder, and they were able to flex their bicep if they pulled the zipper across, so it always gave a really cool motion. <laughs> and then, you know what happened? What? Like two years later, they went out of stock, and now you're the biggest loser if you walk around. <laughs> Guess what? They are not bad. They are bad. Of course they are. They are absolutely not bad. I've got one and I'm going to put shark teeth in it. Or you're the trendsetter? Trendsetter A number one. I still can't get used to the green stuff, so I can't. Wait, now I forget what we're doing. It's. I don't even know. That's your duty. Mm, no, I forget. Yeah. All the fast It was a yeah. near. All right, stay out of the brush so you don't get a tick. That, oh, I was gonna say that looked like poison ivy already. No, you don't. What are you talking about? Oh, you have nervous ticks. No, I, I have those too. No. Oh, I hear humans, rats. All right, we're back on trail. What'd you say? Do they even make those anymore? It's all green. Oh, look at that. Everyone has a digital camera. Is that true? Yeah. Because photos, iPhone takes like really bad photos. Yeah. Digital cameras are like a step up from that. I see water. So many raspberries. Razzleberry oh. dressing. I wouldn't eat those. You don't know if they're good. heard something. Ooh. Oh, just herniated a disc. I think we're gonna find some big shark teeth. Maybe even a T-Rex skull. All right, we found our initial starting spot. I don't remember that tree being there. I'm gonna do that corner right there has produced. I'm gonna do a little digging right in there first. Yeah. You see fish in there? That's some canopy right there. That's pretty wild. The water is usually like seven feet deep over here, and we can't even like. Hmm. <laughs> what? Nothing. Wow, that's wild. All right, that's the first sign we need. Look at you. That's what we want to see. That means we're at the right age. 
right? Air rot. So where there's one, there's gotta be more, right? Isn't the rule? First one of the day. Okay, Helena's first. Oh yeah, that's a cool looking one. They do shine. They shine, right? You yeah. pick them up real fast when they're in there. Are you Do you have Number like multiple two. pockets in your fanny? Yep. All right, we are in the right spot now. Here's a broken one. No, not really broken, it's just a small one. And that one popped up right, it's the smallest one so far, not a big, not a big deal. Like they do really pop up. So you don't have to spend that much time looking. This strange little rock. So far, yeah, one per scoop. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm gonna have to bleep that out. Hello, too. All right, stop your yap and let me see it. Oh, that's a good one. Rats, now it's tied up. Yeah, that might be the best one yet. Darn it. Here, come look at this thing. See if you qualify this one as a tooth. It's not quite as sharp in the end, but look at the center of it. It's just a weird stone with a break in the center of it. What do you think? Stone. Nope. Tooth. No, it's a stone. Watch when I put it in my mouth. Give me, give, give me, me back. Give me a tooth. You see the magic happen? Off the top, strictly off the top. How many scoops did I do? There's a mosquito in my ear. <laughs> There's a skeeter. There's a skeeter. My camera is all, I'm being off an awful cameraman because of this mosquito. Oh, that was a good job, good job. This is the one, Megalodon tooth. I can feel it. 